guys last video april 28th <laughs> promise it's my last video i did quite a few today ouch as you have noticed so let's just go ahead and get started today like i said is going to be morgan taylor i have 10 or 11 so we'll just go ahead and get started i'm just going to pull them out pretty random okay um first one is sapphires rubies and emeralds oh my don't really know why they call it that because i don't see any green glitter in there or red i see blue i see silver i see purple um yeah i don't know very pretty though Oh no, I'm bumping the thing. Okay, and there is a brush. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. I'm hungry. Come on, focus. Let's go ahead and swatch it. We're going to swatch it right next to Let's Get Digital here. I'm Sally Hansen. It looks like it's in a purple base. This one doesn't have the greatest of formula. Not kicking it with that one. Most Morgan Taylors are pretty good. Just give me a second to shake this one. Okay, so next up is the big reveal. And this is kind of like a teal micro glitter shimmer with a blue flash every now and then right in the corner there you can see this is um, a pretty close dupe for Elfin Around from China Clays pretty close I don't I'm not going to say 100% but I'm going to say 95 at least on the low scale Okay, so there's that. Morgan Taylor, I believe you can get at Ulta now. Um, Cosmoprof sells it. Also, um, JCPenney Salons, I believe, sells it. Okay, so that is one coat of the big reveal. Next is come on. Why won't this thing focus anymore? New year, new blue. It's exactly what it is. It's a blue. Just a basic deep dark midnight blue. Very pretty. Okay, first coat. Sorry guys, it was blurry and I wasn't paying attention. Next up. I think I basically bought this one for the name. And I don't know why. Because I don't blog. And this is something to blog about. And it's kind of a purpley gold duochrome. I don't really think it's anything special. And there it is. 
And here's one coat of something to blog about. Little sheer on the first coat. Technically that's how it is with duochromes usually. Give them a shake. I don't give my Morgan Taylors enough love as is known with most of my polishes. There's just too many of them. Okay, this one here is to rule or not to rule. And it's a real pretty purpley fuchsia multi-size hex glitter. And I believe, what color base are we in? I guess the same color base, jelly base. And here is one coat of to rule or not to rule. Again, not really a fan of that formula. I don't know if it's just those type of glitters that they don't do very well. This one here was my first Morgan Taylor I picked up. And this is Under the Stars. And it is. It's a blue jelly base with holographic glitters. And there's the brush. Here's one coat of Under the Stars. And now that one kind of had an okay formula. Next up is Who's That Girl? And this is a pretty purpley, a gray purple glitter type thing, kind of flashes like that. Yellow gold. There's our brush shot. And here's our first coat. It's in like a little of a darker colored base. Next up. It's no place like home. And it's a frosty white iridescent shimmer with iridescent hex glitters in there. probably best as a topper. We're going to do it alone today. Okay, so here is one coat of Snow Place Like Home. This one actually had a pretty decent formula. This one here, I believe, was part of the Cinderella collection. And this is If the Slipper Fits. And it's a light blue shimmer base with holographic hexes. Here is one 
the coat of if the slipper fits. Lastly, we have two glitters. I'm just going to do them on their own. This one here is Fight Like a Lady. It must have came out for a breast cancer awareness. And it has just a whole bunch of glitter in there. There's matte white hexes in various sizes. Silver, silver holographic, and then there's like that fuchsia purple in there. Very pretty, it's very dense. So here is one coat of Fight Like a Lady. And it does look like the base is tinted just a tinge. Okay, and next, oops, I don't know what collection this came out with. I believe it was last spring. It was gorgeous. I had to have it. Like I saw the the, pla the place marker for it. And um, I had to go back the day that it was released. Because I wanted it. And this is Escargot to France. And this has like some baby, yeah. Baby blue glitters, baby pink, and then a brighter pink holographic, silver metallic holographic, and it's all matte except for the the silver hollow. Beautiful. And look at all that glitter on the brush. Well, on the stem anyway. Hmm. Okay. So one coat of escargot to France. These are toppers. They're not meant to be opaque, but you probably could. I mean, as far as fight like a lady, you could probably get that opaque. Now let's go back here to our rubies and sapphires and emeralds. Oh my. Yep, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Oh my. Okay, and second coat. Still not liking the formula. I mean, it's not bad. It just is a little tricky. Okay, next is the big reveal. Here is I don't really like Morgan Taylor's brushes. I think that's the problem. I keep wanting to call this the big reteal or the big teal or something. Okay, so there is the big reveal. Then we have New Year, New Blue. It's a very pretty blue. This one has a pretty good formula. Okay, and then we have something to blog about. Second coat. This one has a good formula. Yeah, so this one actually has a pretty good formula. Um, it's not bad. 
Um, this is to rule or not to rule. This one does not have that bad of a formula. Okay, let's so go to that. Then we have um, under the stars. And naturally the glitters do dry down a little bit, so you will need a good top coat. This is kind of reminiscent of um, China Glaze's Star Hopping, but I think Star Hopping is in a darker base. And let me tell you, it has a much better formula. Star Hopping, by the way, looks amazing matte. I think when I did my, my video, I think I, I showed you guys matte. Okay, next up is Who's That Girl? Second coat. I'm sorry. See, like, do you see their brush? It's, like, weird. I don't know. Okay. To keep these together so that I can... Ah, eh, fuck it. I don't know which order I put them in, but whatever. <clears throat> Next is Snow Place Like Home. Like, do you see how weird their brush is? And you see how it fans out? Like, it's weird. Like, it's twisted, kind of. Okay, and this one here is If the Slipper Fits. Morgan Taylor, if you're out there, fix your brushes. They stink. Next is Fight Like a Lady. This one, with one more coat, you could probably get this opaque. I don't know. It's just something about their brush I don't like. And this one here is Escargot to France. This one will not become opaque. Oops. Sorry. Ooh, you're getting dizzy, guys. Okay, so let's go. So we have. Mm. Anyway, ha ha ha. Sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. Oh my. And you can see it does dry a little textured, so a good top coat is needed. The big reveal. New Year, new blue. Something to blog about. I don't remember. <laughs> this is to roll or not to roll. Again, textured, um, good top coat needed. Under the stars. Again, you can see how bumpy it is. Good top coat is necessary. Who's that girl? Good top coat, again needed. This is Snow Place Like Home. Um, yeah, still it's going to be a little textury. Um, and probably would look better over white. 
This one here is if the slipper fits. Again, you can see it's bumpy, so top coat. This is fight like a lady, naturally, strict, straight on glitter, top coat. Probably um, dries really quick. One more coat or a sponge, you would make that opaque. And this is making me dizzy. <laughs> Escargot to France. France. I don't know why I keep saying that. France. Escargot to France. Very pretty glitter mix. Guys, that's it. Morgan Taylor's done. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, I don't really... I have one slot left on my one wheel. I don't have an indie that I only own one of, so I won't be, I do actually, but I'm going to kind of do singles in, um, in one video or two videos or something like that. So I don't want to, I don't want to do that. <sighs> Ooh, sorry guys. All right, so next, I don't know. Um, I may do new bar. I may do wet and wild mega last. Not sure. Um, I may start sinful colors. I may start clean color. I don't know, <laughs> but whatever it'll be, I won't be doing now until Monday. May 2nd. So, no more videos for me for today until then. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one yet again. Um, May 2nd, it'll probably be... I don't know. I'll be out. This will be June in May. So, um, that's it. Still smooshy. For the same thing smooshy smooshy my nail here is kind of healing it looks like crap there's been a baby squirrel in our yard um i'm gonna insert a video towards the end here um of him because he's just so cute and i love him so much stacy got to see it so i'm going to send in one of those as well so have a great day guys bye